What up guys, Ray's Gameplays here. I wanted to do a quick video to just discuss, well not quick, it's 16 minutes long. I want to discuss with you guys what special classes do you want to see for the Empire in particular. So, in Battlefront 2, you know, we're going to get the Death Trooper, we're going to get the Imperial Jump Trooper, we're going to have a jetpack and a... Or a jump pack, whatever you want to call it. So we're getting those two. Those are kind of what's confirmed as special classes um, that the Empire will have in Battlefront 2. Um, just BTW, by the way, in the background of this you know, discussion video, we're going to have gameplay from Battlefront 1, EA's Battlefront 1, and I'm just playing as this, um, you know, Shadow Trooper with a jump pack. And just like basically the OP setup, and I'm gonna go, I think about 80 kills or something, like 80 kills, and I, I think I die maybe like very few times, the most three, I think. Um, just showcasing how OP this setup was back in the days of Battlefront 1 when you could have a jump pack, back to, um, what do you call it? Uh, overshield, not overshield, but I play Halo, so that's what I call it. Um, and uh, bodyguard, you know, it's just, it's so OP. But anyways, so yeah, what special he classes, not special, like, I don't know, what, what do you actually call them? Special classes? Is that what you call them? The Death Troopers and the Jump Troopers, you know, Super Battle Droids, those kind of classes, the Wookiees. What kind of special class do you want to see for the Empire? And you know what? For all of the, um, you know, for every single, um, what do you call it? team you know in battlefront 2 what what kind of special heroes do you want to see we'll start off with the empire so for me the death trooper and the um jump trooper that's like that's a hell of a good start but beyond that i would definitely like to see the royal guards that would be awesome and maybe if they did them more like the force unleashed version of the royal guards where they actually had lightsabers that would be really cool um and force powers and shit that might be more interesting than just kind of the, what do you call it, the Royal Guards we got in this game for the Empire. They kind of just, you know, ran around with guns and they, they were fun, but I mean, you know, it, it would be much cool if they had like the Force Pike in addition, you know, that little spear staff you see them wielding, or like I said, red lightsaber um, as seen in the Force Unleashed. That would be really cool. Second thing that would be very cool is, hey, maybe an Inquisitors. I don't know if the, you know, the Inquisitors from Star Wars Rebels. Now, I don't know if they would make those um, heroes in itself or if they would make them special classes. It'll be interesting either way. Um, but I would think maybe special classes because they're not quite on the level of people like Darth Vader and, um, you know... Darth Maul, in my opinion, like if you watched Rebels, I mean, you know what happened there. When so, the Inquisitors, I I don't I think that they might be better suited to be special classes versus being full blown heroes. You see what I'm saying? Um, next, I want to see Imperial Super Commandos. At one point, there was a leak saying that the Imperial Jump Trooper was going to be an Imperial Super Commando. If you don't know what Imperial Super Commando is, it is basically a Mandalorian that works for the Empire. Um, I'm gonna have two deaths early on, then I'm gonna pick shit up. It's gonna, it's gonna get much better. Um, so what was I saying? Yeah, Im Imperial Super Commandos. They're basically Mandalorians that work for the Empire. They look badass as hell. At one point, some leaker or the other was saying that the Jump Trooper class that the Empire was going to get in Battlefront 2 was going to be the Imperial Super Commandos, and then that got proven false by the information we have now on the game. But I do hope that they do implement them. Imperial Super Commandos would be awesome. It's just so sick to think of the concept of like a hybrid of a Stormtrooper and a Mandalorian. It's just so cool, at least in my eyes. Um, if, and if you guys haven't watched Rebels, I mean, I liked Clone Wars better than Rebels, but to me, watching those Imperial Super Commandos was one of the highlights of the show because it's just such a cool concept. Um, all by it, I didn't think it made much sense because, like, you'd think the Mandalorians would be the first people to 
you know, try and fight the Empire, not join them. Um, I think that's going to be my last death right there for the whole game. So I die three times in the beginning, and then I go straight to 80 kills without stopping, I think. That's what happens. Um, yeah, so what was I saying? Imperial Super Commandos, I mean... Oh yeah, so if you've been keeping up with, again, the season finale of Rebels, the Imperial Super Commandos do make an appearance, and they're sick. I mean, they're really... Not Imperial Super Commandos, do Yeah, they do. Yeah. It, the first season premiere of Rebels focused heavily on uh, Mandalorians and the Mandalore planet to kind of tie up the loose ends there and just kind of finish that storyline of what happened to them and like where they where they stand now. So if you haven't checked those out, I suggest you do just to be ca caught up on the story. It's really cool. Um, so yeah, Imperial Super Command, like, so what we've said so far, we've said uh, Royal Guards, possibly the Force Unleashed version, Imperial Super Commandos, and um, Inquisitors. Now, the next thing is probably my top pick. Well, it's hard. They're all so cool, so it's hard to say, but I would like to have, um, I don't know if they're called Dark Troopers or what they're called, but in the original Battlefronts in the early 2000s, there was a class that you played as. I believe they were called Dark Troopers. They're basically like half robot, half stormtrooper. Just so cool. Um, it would be awesome if they made a comeback. And this could be kind of like their comeback into canon, because I'm not sure if they're canon anymore. Um, Rebels could show, Star Wars Rebels could do something with those. But Dark Troopers were so, I just remember thinking they were so cool, and they were in the original Battlefronts. Um, just an awesome freaking, I mean, the concept of this like cyborg stormtrooper. But you know what's interesting is I guess basically Death Troopers from Rogue One have taken the role of Dark Troopers. The only thing I would say is different is that Dark Troopers typically were always associated with being cyborg stormtroopers that also, I don't know if they're cyborg or they're fully robotic, but they always kind of typically had jump packs as well. They were not, you know, just walking on the floor like Death Troopers. Also, I don't know if you guys saw the latest episode of Star Wars Rebels, but they made Death Troopers look like bitches, man. They got taken out so easy. Well, as in Rogue One, they were such badasses. They, like, nearly, like, they kicked so much ass in that movie. And then this latest episode of Rebels, they kind of made them seem like pushovers. And I hope it is because they're going to make, um... Maybe this is before the Death Troopers, you know, in that last episode of Rebels. I'm not sure what the name of it is, but it's the most recent one where the Death Troopers just basically get shit on. I wonder if it's because that was before the Death Troopers started getting, um, you know, robotic enhancements or something about, like, how, like, they weren't trained to the highest caliber yet. And then maybe getting their asses kicked by the Rebels in Star Wars Rebels is what prompted them to turn into the fighting machines that we see in Rogue One. That, I hope that that's the route they're going with it. it that, would, that would kind of explain why they got their asses kicked so easily in Rebels. But anyways, nitpicking. Um, yeah, so Death tr Dark Troopers would be cool, and I think that sums it up for the Empire. Um, as far as what's, I mean, maybe you guys know other special classes from the lore or the canon that would be interesting. Um, Royal Guards, Inquisitors, uh, Death Troopers, and Imperial Super Commandos are the ones that come to my mind. Um, and all of them would be awesome and add a lot of color and fun to the game. So now let's talk about the Rebels. Um, what special classes could the Rebels get? Well, they already have the Wookiee, and they have the Jump Trooper. So, hmm. I don't know, man. It's tough with the Rebels. I guess they could do a Both and Spy. That's what they did in the original early 2000s, about early 2000s uh, Battlefront game that came out, the one that wasn't made by EA. They had Both and Spies as a best special class. That would be interesting. Um, they could have... Maybe like uh, Saw Gerrera's Partisans could be a special class, you know, 
that would be interesting. Um, royal guards, like Leia had royal guards in this game. Those can make a return. Um, we could see... Uh, here, I'm, oh, this is really cool what I do right here. I, like, I saw that there's so many enemies and I'm going to get fucked up, so I just jumped on the turret to survive, basically, and take a couple of them with me. Um, that was a lot of fun. Let me... Oh, one thing I will say, I hope that there are turrets in Battlefront 2, because from what I've played, there's no, like, turrets on the map, or even turrets that you can deploy, that you can get on and use. There's the little auto turret, but I haven't seen turrets you can get inside yet. Um, I believe that there, you know, if you look at some of the images of some of the maps, it looks like there are, like, specifically, like, Starkiller base, you can see, like, what looks like a turret that you may be able to mount. But I just hope mountable turrets are coming back in uh, Battlefront 2. Because th they were a big source of entertainment for me in Battlefront 1 at least. Um, so yeah. Now, as far as the Rebels, I don't know man. The Wookiee would be cool. They could do, uh, like I said, the Bothans. I mean, what do I mean? The Wookiee would be cool. They did the Wookiee, so yeah. The Wookiee is a good choice. Bothan Spies. Um... I don't know, the Rebels don't have, I guess Sagarra's Parsons, like I said, I don't, the Rebels don't have a whole lot of special units. The Royal Guard, they could do that. I'm trying to think of something cool, but, you know, typically it's always like this, where you can always think of cool ideas that the bad guys could use, but it's hard to come up with cool um, classes for the good guys. Like, at least I have that thing with, like, heroes and villains. I feel like I can think of so many awesome villains that I want to play as. I saw Ventress, Grievous, uh, Dirge... You know, Django Fed, uh, Savage Press. You know, there's such a big list of, like, badass, uh, what do you call it, um, villains to play as. But when I start thinking about the heroes to play as, the good guys typically don't, ha don't have as cool heroes, which is kind of to be expected. Um, so, yeah. Both and Spy would be a good one. Royal Guards could be a good one. Um... Oh, I know what they could do, and I, I highly doubt they would do this, but in The Force Unleashed, you remember Coda's Militia. Now, those were basically, um, during the Clone Wars, General Coda, this is all non-canon, by the way. General Coda had, um, you know, instead of using clone troopers, he used his own militia. This chick is going to run up and try and kill me with her melee a couple times in this game. Um... So yeah, General Coda was a Jedi that during the Clone Wars, he used uh, an actual militia. He didn't want to use the clone troopers. He didn't trust them or he didn't think they were capable or whatever his reasons were. Um, so when the and for the Force Unleashed, you know, when the when those little pockets of rebellion start coming out, uh, General Coda has his own militia ready to go. And they're pretty badass. I mean, if, if you want to just type in, like, Force Unleashed, or I'll put some images up. Um, that would be a really cool choice to implement. Um, yeah, so Generals Coda Militia, Both and Spies. Many Both and Spies did die to, you know, get us that information, guys. So it would be nice to have them as a special class. Um, Royal Guards, like I said, for, you know, like Leia has in this game. Uh, Saw's Partisans, that would be interesting, and I don't really know what else to tell you guys, I mean, Rebels are kind of boring, I mean, I guess they could have, like a, like, you know, like I suggested, the Inquisitors for um, the Empire, I wonder if, I, if it's going too far to give the Rebels an equivalent, like a, you know, some sort of, um, you know, some sort of, Jedi that survived Order 66. You know, there could be like one or two of them fighting for the rebels. Maybe not make them full blown heroes, but a special class. Just like call them like Jedi survivors or Order 66 survivors. And like their description would just be like Jedi that survived the Order 66 and fight for the rebels. Something like that. Um, I was an interesting one would be Geonosians, actually. I, I bet that, because the Geonosians got so fucked over by the Empire, I bet any survivors, like, would definitely join the Rebel Alliance. Um, so that could be an interesting special hero for the Rebels. 
I guess I, there's not a, I don't know how I survived that right there, by the way. That was insane. Um, just turn on the shield right at the right time before the rocket could go off or something. I don't know. Um, it's, it's tough to think of cool concepts for rebel special uh, classes for Battlefront 2. So, yeah. I don't know, guys. You tell me. Maybe you have better ideas than I do. So, put them in the comments. Be sure to rate, like, comment, subscribe. Tons of Battlefront content coming your way. Uh, yeah, I got I got Battlefront 2 gameplay. I'm focusing on Battlefront 2 gameplay and my coder, you know, Knights of the Republic 1, Xbox One playthrough right now. So stay tuned for that stuff, guys. Be sure to subscribe and turn notifications on so you don't miss when I upload something. All right. Have an awesome day, guys.